Hey, today is November 30th and today was an announcement of the official specs of the Cybertruck as well as the official first deliveries. And while it was exciting to watch it and while some specs were really exciting, others were really disappointing, at least for me, and I would say for me it kind of puts me in a difficult situation. The first part of the presentation was about the toughness of the vehicle and they showed a few shots how they are shooting the vehicle with the Tommy gun, Al Capone style, which is a cool factor for sure, but I mean for 99% of uh, the whole population I don't think this is the main factor that would sell this vehicle, but well, it's cool nonetheless. Also they said that the glass is uh, kind of very tough and they tried to repeat that the same trick as they did four years ago when they shared the glass. Sure? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Uh, although this time they softened the ball and they used a baseball instead of a steel ball and obviously it didn't break the the window, so yeah. Um, but well, nonetheless, it's kind of cool that uh, their glass is more tough than your regular glass in your car, so meaning less chips from rocks on the road and stuff like that, so that's cool. The next thing that they talked about was the utility of the vehicle, and this is where the numbers are shining, because uh, the payload of the vehicle is really great, as you can upload literally anything in your truck and deliver it to whatever you want to deliver it to. Towing capacity is, uh, is amazing as well, so uh, 11,000 pounds. It is just fantastic for people who use their vehicles for work, absolutely. They showed some uh, tests against their competition, uh, such as uh, Rivian, Ford Lightning, NF350, and well, obviously, Cybertruck outran their competition because it's Cybertruck's presentation. Uh, yeah, these numbers are amazing, no questions about that. And the last thing that they talked about was the performance, and when they said performance, I was like, hey, range. No, it was about the speed, and speed, I mean, the acceleration is crazy as usual, so for the uh, top trim uh, Cybertruck, uh, which they call Cyber Beast, um, it is 2.6 seconds from 0 to 60 and they showed a very nice video when they beat a Porsche 911 while dragging another Porsche 911 behind, so Cybertruck beats uh, a Porsche 911 while towing another Porsche 911, which is great and uh, actually ridiculous because it was literally impossible just five years ago. And talking about the range, the range is quite disappointing, at least for me. I was hoping for 500 miles plus, because for me, the main point of buying truck was camping. And now, uh, well, we are basically 160 miles short. Okay, sure, you can you can buy a range extender. And this way you basically need to choose between either you want more a truck with a bigger bed or you want a better camper with a smaller bed but with a bigger range and you are ready to sacrifice about one third of uh, the bed real estate to get those precious miles. So kind of trade off. If you ask me, I would definitely prefer not to choose and have everything in one package 
but I see the logic besides that. And it's kind of easy to understand why we see these numbers and while they are not great for the customers, they are really good for the company. Tesla didn't need to impress you to sell the vehicles. This is a sad truth. They have a queue of 2 million people uh, waiting for a Cybertruck, even if 80% of 2 million will suddenly cancel their reservations, which I think just realistically won't happen. 400,000 people will still need to buy a Cybertruck and 400,000 vehicles Tesla need to produce. And it's a lot. And I wouldn't expect that something will happen with the range or with Cybertruck's prices or with other specs of Cybertrucks uh, within the next two years. It just doesn't make any sense again, business-wise. And while it is not the greatest thing for customers, it is actually a great thing for Tesla. And they will have that time to ramp it up. They will increase uh, the production while they are selling vehicles with a higher margin, which is great again for the company. What I personally gonna do is probably I will buy a Cybertruck because it's a new thing. And uh, yeah, I would like to experience it. I would like to have it for a while and then I will decide. Um, also, my mom is coming and she has never seen anything like that. And it's kind of a really nice reason to buy this vehicle to impress your mom. Why not? I mean, yeah. A short disclaimer why I'm editing this video. This review might sound a little bit negative, especially when I talk about the range and stuff like that, but it is not. I totally understand that statistically uh, an average American is traveling about 40 miles a day uh, and it's not a lot. It is not perfect for myself, but it is revolutionary in many ways. So yeah, I hope it explains a little bit better my order of thoughts. Okay.